Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Girl, I went to Sephora. I'm gonna take a sip of my smoothie and we're gonna get into this makeup tutorial. So starting off with the Fenty Skin Moisturizer that is gonna be $35. Uh, some of these products I've already had. Some of these are new products. Fenty Skin I've been having. I'm just moisturizing my face like you should always do before any makeup application. And I'm gonna be just tallying it up so we can get into all these high-end makeup products so next up is the Versali unicorn essence serum that is $22 I got the mini the mini is $22 I don't know why I got the mini I should have got the full size because this is my second time getting this uh, when I went to Sephora I had to pick it up when they had it in store so yeah I, I should have just got the full size because I like this stuff but minis are just so cute especially serums I just love minis like they're just adorable so yeah it's just gonna protect your skin and really like a primer protect your skin from makeup and it makes your skin look great this is another for Sally serum the skin blur $54 and uh, this like I love this this is like my holy grail when it comes to like primer this is acts as a primer as well and it really just gives you a blur like it blurs out your skin I have texture kind of like texture with pores and stuff like that um so I really like my skin well my skin isn't really take much texture anymore but I just like how like the blurred look how it looks and really with my smile lines and like forehead wrinkles this nothing else works for me except for this when it comes to smile lines so if you have like really bad smile lines you know I tell y'all all the time my smile lines are atrocious and this is the only product that works for me so I love this stuff for Sally you got it Next up is the concealer by Cover Effects, $30. And I'm just going to outline my eyebrows with this concealer. I love this concealer. Cover Effects, I feel like they are super un underrated, but I love this concealer. This is like one of my favorite concealers, definitely top five. Then I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Concealer, which runs for $26. And I'm going to use this as a primer for my eyeshadow because this is way too light. This is in 310. This is way too light for my face. So I just use it on my eyes when I'm doing eyeshadow because I'm not going to let it go to waste. <laughs> but yeah. So then I'm going to take the Juvia's Place Magic Mini Palette which wins you for $25. And Juvia's Place got some bomb palettes. Like... They are super pigmented. I'm going to take this blue shade and I'm just going to outline where I'm going to blend out my shadow. You don't want to go too high up on your eyes. You want to take, you don't want to take it too high up because you're going to blend it upwards. So you don't want it to be touching your eyebrows unless that's what you want. But for me, I don't want it to touch my eyebrows, so I outline it first. You want to pack the color down first, and then blend it upwards. But you, like I said, don't go too high up because you need room to blend upwards when you're blending it out. And especially with a shade like a blue, you really want to give yourself space to blend it because you really are going to have to blend this out so it doesn't look harsh at all. And I'm taking a fluffier brush to really blend it upwards and blend it out really good and I'm just going to continue that process and really um, bring it upwards, blend it out and keep doing that until I'm satisfied with the blend. But yeah, some of these products, a lot of these products I've already had, everything that is like new that I got from, the Sephora, from Sephora, I'll tell y'all. But yeah, these palettes from Julia's Place are bomb. And uh, I mean, everything in here isn't going to be crazy expensive. But I just mean an expensive makeup, high-end makeup. Meaning you can't get this from the drugstore. I think I have like three products in here that you can get from the drugstore. But everything else like is at Sephora, Ulta, things like that. It ain't two It ain't $12, you know for a foundation you know what I'm saying 
So yeah, for all my girls that like to spin the coin, this this makeup tutorial is for you. Uh, if you like expensive and high-end makeup, this is for you. So yeah, taking that Fenty, Fenty Beauty <laughs> um, concealer again. And it really doesn't matter how you carve it out for this type of look because I just want the blue all over my eyelid. But in order for this pigment to stick, you have to put concealer you know, over so I I just place the concealer everywhere. Not really very uniform. Then I'm taking this Maya makeup pigment. And it retails for $15. Okay, right now we're at a total of $207. We haven't even got into the face yet, and we've already spent two hundred dollars. That's just on primers, moisturizers, and concealers, really. $207. Oh, it's the blend for me. Yeah, look at the other eye. This eye isn't complete. It's like I could never do the, my eyes the same. And this eye always never turns out good. But the other eye... Well, I'm not going to say it doesn't turn out good. But I always end up liking the eye that I do off camera better. Always. I don't know why. Then, okay, here's a, here's a little bonus. A little free, you know, one. This one is only $10.00. This is the NYX eyeliner, and you can get this from Target. So, I mean, Target is high-end, period. So, <laughs> so, this one, I feel like this one counts. Even though you can get NYX at, like, a beauty supply. I think you can get NYX at, you can get NYX at Walmart, too. But it's at Target, so that dings it as bougie. So, there you go, $10. So. Yeah, I just was just creating the bandana. I was just going off of a bandana, like my shirt, basically. The black eyeliner is from NYX as well, so that's another $10. And I was kind of like, what? It's so hard because my eyes are so hooded, and they're so, like, saggy and got all these wrinkles. And eyeliner was going now, but we had it, we got it done. And I, and y'all, I tried to do a little braid. I can't braid, but I tried to do a little something different to my hair. That's why I look crazy. I do not know how to braid to the scalp, but I tried. I tried. That's all that matters. E for effort, I feel like. Period. For somebody that don't know how to braid, it actually does not look that bad it's just because it's like all in your face like but from far back it looks good <laughs> On this eye, I really just started like freestyling, kinda. Um, so I'm gonna just let y'all just watch me. But that blend is superb. Like, moment of silence, like everybody. <laughs> moment of silence, okay. But yeah, I'm gonna just let y'all watch me. I'm gonna just be quiet.
La vida en la nueve. La vida en la nueve. Con Ghost. Con Ghost. En la casa. En la casa. Now, the Beauty Blender, oh my gosh, I fell in love with it. And it comes in this cute little cloudy like container. And then the Too Faced Born This Way in matte foundation. Okay, guys, a little disclaimer. Now, I know that this foundation is orange. I bought this foundation online. So, yeah, I was not aware that this was an orange undertone because they have this listed as golden undertone. I am a golden undertone. However, my foundation shade gets tricky because I am also a little red. So, I'm like a yellow red bone or red yellow bone, however you want to do it. But I'm a little of both. So, it's always kind of hard for me to find my exact shade because I kind of fall into both. But I am more golden then red and when things are when your golden undertone and a shade is too dark for you it can sometimes show up as orange which is this one because it was listed under the golden undertone but this just means that it's too dark for me so i am going to be sending this back and getting the shade above mine because when i went to sephora i did uh do a match on my skin and i'm just the shade before so i wasn't too off i was just one shade down but yeah just when when once the face is all put together it's honestly not gonna look bad you're not gonna be able to tell i know i look like an oompa loompa with just the foundation but it's okay and i'm using the same cover effects concealer right now but yeah um other than that though i do like the Too Faced born this way foundation this is the new foundation that they just came out the matte version is new and i am chicken grease skin so you know i have to get the matte foundations and i like it it's not too overbearing it's not too matte or anything like that and i i like it i just need to get my right shade and i think it'll be even more perfect but for me i always like to go like i always tell y'all you guys go a shade down rather than a shade lighter because once you put on concealer and the and powder and things like that you're gonna look white <laughs> so that's the only reason why it's not too bad and like i said i was only one shade off and yeah using that same concealer like i said cover effects is very underrated i feel like as far as like complexion goes, they have really great quality products and the brand is just really a good overall good brand when it comes to complexion. So I used to wear their foundation, like when I first started makeup, when I first started makeup was my favorite foundation of all time. Like Cover effects, definitely if you haven't tried anything from cover effects, definitely try some. Like I said, this concealer is definitely in my top five and they are a great brand and so far i love cover effects 
and th this beauty blender was just blue and it was just so cute and, and like the packaging was just so cute i had to buy it like and i haven't bought a beauty blender in a while like the real beauty blender you know they have all these dupes for beauty blenders now but this is the actual beauty blender and uh, yeah i miss beauty blender and uh, it's just nothing like it to me and i'm using the Too faced concealer the Too Faced Concealer is $29. I kind of did put a little bit too much concealer. I mean, yeah, too much concealer. This is to contour. Y'all know I normally don't even contour. But I felt like, why not? It's a, like, I only contour when I'm really wanting like a big, big face. But on an everyday basis, I don't contour. But yeah, the Too Faced Concealer, $29. Now we're at $317 after contour and baby girl who said makeup was cheap who I want to talk and now I'm taking the Laura Mercier translucent powder this is also a new product that I got I got the mini because I wanted to try it out first now this is in honey this is a new product that's also on the market that she just recently launched Laura Mercier now if you if you don't know anything about makeup uh Laura Mercier her translucent powder was like crack <laughs> okay when it first came out like everybody you was not doing makeup if you did not have her setting powder me I didn't like it because it was white even though it was translucent powder it was white and I did not like it. and I realized I feel like at first when I first got it I liked it but I feel like I liked it because of the hype I feel like it was more so the hype that made me feel like you know I like it because everybody had it everybody used it everybody was raving about it but it, then I noticed I started to notice like I'm white like I'm literally looking white like this is not right and then I hated it and I'm just like it just doesn't work for me translucent is not supposed to show up white translucent means that y'all already know what translucent means <laughs> so it's just like it, it was just showing up white on me so I was not with it and so I'm like okay now she's came out with honey let me see how I like it and you guys I like it. I should have bought the full size. But that's how it always works. But minis, like I said, they're so cute. So I really don't mind it. But I'm definitely going to go get the big size. I, it's very smooth. And uh, very the consistency of it is very fine. It does off really well. And it set my face really nicely. Yeah. And I bronzed with Fenty Beauty Bronzer. That was $30. Now, this was another bonus. The Fit Me Maybelline Finishing Powder. I cannot live without it. I cannot do my makeup without it. I'm sorry, but I cannot do it. I think that's like, what, $8, $7? Did the Mario Badescu. I love this spray. That's $7. And then the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Reezy. Highlighter is $28. And I'm just highlighting everywhere. But yeah, Mario Badesco really says my makeup. I love it. Now, Fenty Beauty Cream Blush. I, okay, you guys, another one. I had, I've had this blush since they, it came out, but I've never used it. I am obsessed with these blushes. They blend out so well, and they are pigmented honey, okay? But you can blend them out so well, and they just look so stunning, and I really love these blushes. They are bomb. And then I just take a brush just to make sure, because I was shocked. I was like, whoa, this is pigmented. So I just took a little brush just to really make sure that it was really blended out. Then I'm taking the Full Frontal Mascara by Fenty Beauty, which retails for $24. And just putting that on my lower lashes. And I also put it on my top lashes before my before my uh, <laughs> lashes. I ended up taking that blue eyeshadow off the bottom of my lower lash. Because I just felt like that blue eyeshadow at the bottom was just it was just too much. So I edited that part out and y'all gonna see at the end that I took that part out. But I'm just lining my lips with the MAC lip liner in Soar. And then I'm gonna top it off with the Aaliyah and MAC collab lip gloss. 
And then I'm going to spray my entire face with the Glow Recipes Watermelon Glow Mist that retails for $28. Now we have totaled out to $519, bitch. This is a $500 face, okay? And next time anybody tries to throw shade at you for wearing makeup, ask them can they afford it? Can they afford the $500 face? Cause it looks like one to me. This was so much fun to do because I haven't done anything like a full face of high end makeup. So thank you guys so much for watching and uh, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I'm going to do a drugstore tutorial soon and uh, watch some more of my videos and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!